the bed goes up and down, all on its own. Hot damn, I'm tickled. Ah, a lot of tinkering past couple weeks. You get a chance to work on it every couple hours or so. Ooh. Got a There we go. PTO shaft built. Come up with a bunch of parts and pieces and made something work. I had the PTO pump mounted. Uh, got the suction tube hooked up. A couple gallons of oil in it. Uh, just last night and this morning. All this manual linkage, this cross tube and arm and everything. So I got controls in the cab for now. Uh, cable control for the PTO in and out. Uh, a few things I had left to do before I could see if it would dump. Of course I got the dump cylinder in. Everything lined up good there, and uh, been working on wiring. Uh, I haven't got the tack and the speedometer figured out yet. And everything's just kind of temporary in here for now, but I got uh, mechanical oil pressure. They're going to show up. Mechanical oil pressure, water temperature, uh, senders are in. I got the volt hooked up and the fuel level hooked up. I got an air pressure gauge yet to hook up. I got to uh, plumb up the regulator. Uh, I haven't got the tack working yet. Uh, that's I've been scratching my head on that and the rest of the wiring and the fuse panel still over there. Still uh, have my meter out poking at things and testing and not sure of a couple things there. Finally got a intake plumbed up. All the uh, clamps on the uh, turbo lines going to the intercooler. I don't know if I showed in a previous video, but that power steering box blowing oil out of the front seal. So I had another one. I figured I'd just swap it out, so I swapped power steering boxes out. Uh, previous video I had clearance issues here on the alternator. Well, I found a different alternator, not as many amps in this one. But I found that one, and if it's still going to be a problem, I'll rebend this support radiator support brace. Uh, fuel shutoff solenoid did down inside of there. I found out that this is a factory intercooled motor that runs the same shutoff solenoid as a 7.8. So I got to get one of those coming and 
I did find out I had an issue with the oil coming out of the back of the transmission. I chose this transmission out of the ones that I had. I like that style parking brake. It's a drum style brake on the back of the transmission. I like them. And I had one with the parking brake and one with the PTO. This one had the PTO. And uh, I called an outfit and asked them for prices on either a parking brake or a PTO. And these, this whole parking brake assembly bolts right to the back of the transmission. And that was actually cheaper than the PTO. I said, well then, give me the brake housing. So, one of the earlier videos that I had, I had a 5-speed in this with no PTO. So I pulled the 5-speed out, put the 6-speed in, and uh, I put everything together at the uh, old farm. And at this farm, when I drove it over here, it was leaking terrible out of that transmission. So I got tore it apart and thought, well, there's something missing. Well, the whole seal was missing. And I don't know if that'll focus on that. Come on. Yes, no. No. Anyway, the fuller part number 4300119 is a rear oil seal for that six speed Eaton transmission, Eaton Fuller transmission. And uh, the fella at the local garage told me it doesn't matter whether it has the parking brake or not, they're the same seal. So that's a Got that put in and I gotta go try it out, but really tickled. Really, really, really tickled. Progress over the past, oh, I don't know, several, many weeks. Many weeks. Still some more tidying up to do. I got some stuff to move around the, the farm here and uh, try some things out, and that way, if any surprises show up, I'll only not be too far from walking distance back to the farm.